What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And it looks like the Dodge Charger EVs are starting to get delivered. Some of the very first ones are getting delivered to dealers. I only know this because I got contacted by somebody at a dealership in uh, Illinois. And uh, they had a 2024 Dodge Charger RT Scat Pack that they uh, had listed up as one of their four or whatever that they were getting in delivered. And um, they listed it as the MSRP of $82,175. You know it didn't sell for that though, right? No, it sold uh, in the six digit range. 115,000 and some change is what a customer paid for this vehicle, which is absolutely insane but it's dead. Perfect. Perfect. That is right guys, welcome on back to TK's Garage. A uh, Some of these 2024 Charger uh, RT scat packs and RT EVs are starting to be delivered at dealerships uh, from people that are doing the first call orders or people that wanted to buy these. Now, um, I haven't been contacted by the customer, but I did get contacted by somebody that works at the dealership and they are, the dealers were already talking about this, hoping that this was not going to be like a, a bungled launch with the Charger EV. And, um, I can tell you now, I've talked, I've had multiple GMs hit me up today to be like, is this story for real? Is this story for real? And I, I talked to this employee at this dealership and yes, a 2024 Dodge Charger RT Scat Pack was delivered. They were able to, to uh, get it off the truck, parked it uh, at the dealer and it is dead. Won't charge, can't get it to turn on. They're dealing with Stellantis directly, I guess, to try to have engineers go through multiple things on what they could do to possibly get it lit up. I have a feeling at some point, it would not shock me if Rich Rebuilds ends up going to Illinois <laughs> to go mess with this car. Um, if you haven't seen Rich's channel or some of the stuff he does with EVs, he has a shop called Electrified Garage and does a lot of electric car repairs. Um, his shops do and um it's very interesting because i'm wondering if this is going to be one of many as they get delivered that are going to have these problems now we talked about this i don't know if this is the same problem but we've talked about problems with the charger ev in the past myself butter the insider oc motivator have all done videos and stories on this as um, we, you know, myself and Butter the Insider had talked to different engineers that were having the same issues in two different testing cars where they could drive it around. It would be fine in real world conditions. And then they would, you know, park the car or shut it down wherever they were at for the day only to come out later and it would be completely dead. And the one that had the power lift gate, there's no way to get in the back uh, and I'm guessing the battery or the smaller battery, the auxiliary battery is in the back like the old chargers were, right? So they fashioned a strap around some of these where they could manually release that um, hatch to be able to get into it. Um, I don't know if this car, I mean, if it's a scat pack, I'm going to assume it has the power hatch and they probably don't have any way to get into the car. So it'll be uh, be interesting to see how they resolve the issue. I did ask them to shoot me some pictures and stuff of the car um, or take a quick video clip of them not being able to get into it. Um, evidently, the issue had been reported to Stellantis yesterday and the company uh, immediately, I guess, told the general manager or uh, staff at that dealership not to let anybody near the car don't let them take pictures don't let them do anything 
Because, of course, Stellantis doesn't want this news to get out, right? They don't want news that their brand new shiny Dodge Charger EV is showing up to dealerships dead. <laughs> but, hey, this is what happens when you... Uh, when you mismanage a company and run it into the ground. And uh, this all falls solely on the shoulder, shoulders of Carlos Tavares. It'll be interesting to see, you know, as... Because here's the thing. If I already got the news, you know it's not going to be long before Bloomberg or Wall Street Journal or the drive, car and driver, somebody else is going to get... Because when these people reach out from dealerships or sources at Stellantis, they don't always just hit me. I just report it quicker than they can get approval from an editor to write an article. That's the only difference. It takes me 10 minutes to do a video and upload it. it. Takes the editor a day, day and a half for them to approve something to publish on their website. Uh, I have that much faith in my, in my sources there. And there's no reason for the dealer, which I've already verified, uh, to call me and tell me that. So... It'll be interesting to see if more of these start showing up at dealerships dead. I know local dealership in my area, Tobin, who's known for selling lots of Dodge products, is getting six. Um, so I, as soon as they start popping up out here, I'm going to go take a look at it, uh, see if they have any of the similar issues. If you work at a dealership and you are taking deliveries of these cars and they have an issue... And you, you know, maybe you work there. Maybe the GM says you shouldn't say anything. I keep all your information confidential. You can send me an email to TK's Garage. It's TKS Garage, dealer issues at gmail.com. And um, I'll end up doing a story on it. I want to put as much pressure on the company in terms of Stellantis as possible because they rush these to market. And, um, you know, they were already supposed to be at dealers, but they just push this. The way that they did and and you know stop selling products that customers actually want they deserve everything they're getting right now absolutely everything so again let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below give the video a big thumbs up if you like what i do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and uh stay tuned if i hear anything else on this charger if i get another if i get a video clip or some other pictures of them trying to figure it out. Um, I will do an update. I will talk about it because to me it's funny because they already knew about this issue. If this is the same issue that they were already having with the testing cars, this is a known issue. And the fact that they did, they still haven't worked it out means that this car is going to have problems just like the Hornets that were bricking in people's driveways. Don't believe me? Google it. There are hundreds of them that have because they only sold hundreds of them, but there's hundreds of customers that have had that issue where they just brick and the Hornet will not do anything, all right? Uh, yeah, they were able to fix it with a software update and, and had to go to the dealer and do all this other crap. It's just the fact of them having an unfinished product to market like that is really stupid. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.